YouTube, Carlo here. Welcome to the vlog. Today, we're going to unbox a Yeezy Boost 350 that is inspired, at least people think it's inspired, by a Yeezy that Kanye West first came out with from Nike. Let's go. If you guys haven't subscribed to the channel yet, please make sure that you do so. We do constant giveaways here. In fact, at the end of this video, make sure that you watch, especially if you join. I'm going to announce the winner of this limited edition custom Jordan 3. One out of five, made by Sabotage from Singapore. So one of you guys who joined, you'll know if you want this at the end of the video. So guys, subscribe now, follow me on Instagram, like our Facebook page, and yeah, just be part of the community. So let's jump right into the unboxing. So as you can see, it comes in your typical Yeezy Boost 350 box. Comes in the brown carton, a bit damaged over here. Uh, I did get this in size 13, so I either usually go a half size or a full size up for my Yeezy 350 Boost V2s. Now this one is actually the Desert Sage colorway and it came out a few, well, I think it was last month or around middle of March. And it's only now that I've been able to get my hands on it from Riff Manila. Now, this colorway, so let's slide this out of the box. Uh, Desert Sage is a color. So you can actually check out the Pantone. I'll put a picture somewhere here. And that's pretty much what the color is of this particular shoe. However, if you take a closer look at the sneaker, it bears some sort of resemblance to a previous Yeezy that Kanye West made when he was still working with Nike. This is the Air Yeezy 2 Pure Platinum. So it's the same color blocking. You have that almost greenish, grayish desert sage for the upper and some sort of like a see-through or icy rubber green midsole, uh, which people recognize when they first saw this shoe. So a lot of people, a lot of sneaker heads, especially fans of Kanye West, actually made that connection and that relationship between that Yeezy Pure Platinum and this particular Yeezy Boost 350. Now, is it actually inspired or did Kanye West actually think about that particular Yeezy when he made this? I don't know and I honestly don't think so, but if it did, it doesn't really matter because at the end of the day, they're really two completely different sneakers, guys. So let's take a closer look at the sneaker and do an on-feet review shortly afterwards. Now, as I mentioned, the upper color is Desert Sage, which is a mix of green and gray. Now, the upper, as you guys know, especially if you are 350 fans, is made out of some sort of like prime knit material of Adidas. But what's interesting about this particular shoe is that the transparent stripe that you usually see on the lateral side is reflective. So if you hit this with flash, this part actually glows, which makes for a nice Instagram shoe. So if you love posing for Instagram with different reflective materials, this one can actually work for you. Now, if you move down to the midsole, of course, you have the encased boost and you have a rubber outsole for the bottom. Now, if you move inside the sock liner, you get a pop of color with the bright orange which is a nice added touch to the shoe. I am really loving that pop of color. The only thing I am hating on this one is that they didn't put a pull tab. I'm such an advocate and fan of having pull tabs on Yeezys because it makes it so much easier to wear. So it's just kind of annoying that they didn't put it in this shoe. So how is the Yeezy Boost 350 V2 Desert Sage on feet? Well, pretty much just like any Yeezy Boost 350 V2. It is comfortable. You do get that hotel slipper vibe, but I really still feel and maintain my stand that the V1s are much more comfortable because the knit upper were softer and more flexible compared to the stiffer knit upper that you get with the V2s. So if I were to pick between the V1s and the V2s, I would always, almost always go to the V1s in terms of comfort. Now, do I recommend the Desert Sage? Now, ultimately, it boils down to you guys. The great thing with having so many Yeezys is that you get to pick the Yeezy color that appeals to you the most. So you can pick the Desert Sage if you like it. If you want more orange, you can go for the Tail Light or you can go for True Form. I mean, there's just so many V2s that came out in the last few months ranging from browns and blacks. The cinder just came out. Uh, there's a plethora or a smorgasbord of 350s coming our way as well uh, in the coming months. Some of them probably might get delayed because of the COVID-19 coronavirus pandemic. But yeah, 
you just really just have to take your pick. In short, don't pressure yourself to buying a Yeezy just because it's a Yeezy. Uh, buy the ones that you really like because there are a lot coming. And eventually, I really feel that resale prices will start to normalize and there will come a time where you can actually buy Yeezy 350 Boost V2s under retail or without even having to line up. That is just a reality of things and that should happen maybe in the next two to three years. So again, pick the one that connects to you the most. We'll set this shoe aside and then we'll get to our next surprise unboxing. So I actually have a package with me here that I want to unbox for you. As you guys can see uh, up, well up over there, I have a couple of Stormtrooper figures which were made by a local Filipino artist called Lawrence Aliwalas. So I, uh, the name of the figure is Stormtrooper Boy uh, and he recently came out with a Stormtrooper boy wearing an Adidas tracksuit. And he also came out with a Darth Vader boy. So I actually have both figures here and I wanna unbox them for you guys in today's episode before we get to the announcement of the winner of the Jordan 3 limited edition shoe that we have over here. Here we have the package. By the way, if you do get uh, parcels or packages at this day uh, because of the COVID-19 pandemic, uh, we would strongly recommend that you wipe them down and disinfect them before you bring them to your house. So what we do is we spray it a bit with alcohol, wipe it down just to make sure that it's safe. So what I did was I got one Darth Vader boy and I got two of the Stormtrooper boys with the Adidas tracksuit. So let's let's start the unboxing with the Stormtrooper first. So the box is actually really nice, which is a compliment for art toys made in the Philippines because usually art toys made here uh, don't have nice packaging. But anyway, so this one is number 60. Uh, we have a certificate of authenticity over here. And then if we pop the box open, the lid open, this is what the figure looks like. So as you guys can see, you have the Stormtrooper head over here and then you have an adidas black tracksuit uh, both the jacket and the pants which is just really cool and while it doesn't really clearly show what the shoe is it looks like either a stan smith or a superstar so that's the first one uh, we also have a second figure which is number 61 so we have 60 and 61 of the stormtrooper boy adidas tracksuit so there you go two figures and then we'll get to the main event we have over here Darth Vader yeah <laughs> so this is Darth Vader boy and as you can see with the box it's actually much bigger than the Stormtrooper box so hopefully it still fits the cabinet uh, above me or else I don't know where I'll put this Darth Vader figure, figure toy uh, so pop the box open uh, authenticity card we have number 60 number 60 and it also comes with the lightsaber inside the packet and this <laughs> para naging totoy si Darth Vader is what Darth Vader boy looks like so you have the Darth Vader head you have his cloak and then you have uh, what looks to be like an oversized shirt with the control board of Darth Vader and then you have his lightsaber he's wearing shorts and he's wearing sneakers so that's really cool so this is Darth Vader boy so you can actually put the lightsaber so if we open this up and slide this in you can actually have the blade over there so yeah that looks cool so this one uh, sells for 4,000 pesos so it's a bit pricey but hey if you are a collector if you're a Star Wars fan if you're a fan of local art toy designers then I really feel that uh, the work of Lawrence is exceptional really good so apart from Quicks which I buy figures from I also collect this guy and I'm looking at also the off-white lady line uh, by Clarice so I'll probably do a, a vlog about local art toys in the future anyway let's get to the main event of the video I'm sure a lot of you are curious who won so let's use our electronic raffle draw to see who won this Jordan 3 limited edition shoe Congratulations to the winner. I will be getting in touch with you via Instagram. Uh, hold on to because I will be sending this to you probably after the lockdown. Now before I end, let me just plug. We are still in the middle of our sneaker auction. I've done two batches already. So the first batch we raised over 300,000. Uh, the second batch we raised over 400,000. So this cumulative, cumulative total. And we're now down to our last and final auction wherein hopefully 
we can hit anywhere from 450 to 500,000 pesos raised. That's almost $10,000 raised to buy PPEs and food for our medical frontliners here in the Philippines. 100% of the proceeds, all of the money, will be given and donated to two charities, the Tulong Kapatid PLDT Smart Foundation, as well as Feed Philippines. So I'll put the link down below uh, where you guys can see the third and final auction. Has a great selection of sneakers in different sizes, as well as a limited edition Team Philippines Sea Games jacket which was donated by the CEO of Smart, uh, Al Panglilio. So yeah, check that guy, check that one out. The link can be found down below. So guys, that's it for me for now. As usual, peace, God bless. What's up? Boom.